Hi, this is Mike, WB4HUC, and this is a short video to talk about how the receive filtering works in the Tentec Omni 7. So there are four IF filters or mechanical filters. Um, there's one for 20 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, 2.5 kilohertz, and 500 hertz. And you have your choice for the CW filter of 500 hertz or 300 hertz and mine has the 500 hertz filter in it. So to set these up, uh, first you go into the menus and then you go down to enable 300 hertz or enable 500 hertz depending on which one you have and you, you use the VFO knob to get to the menu selection you want and then you use the multi knob to change that selection so here we've disabled the 500 hertz filter and now we've enabled it then the next thing you do is you go up to IF filter and these are your four mechanical filters and you can have the radio select the IF filter to be used based on the DSP filter bandwidth or you can specifically select the uh, filter that you want. So if I go up here and so here's the 300 which I don't have 500, 2.5, 6, 20 kilohertz. Well I usually leave it set to auto. If you're a sideband operator you might want to leave it at 2.5 and select that one permanently. If you're a CW operator you might want to select the 500 hertz filter and leave it set there but I use all bands, all modes so I just let the radio do the selection for me and once you've set these two things then get out of the menu and go back to the radio and so the only filter adjustment you have is the bandwidth knob right here and you can see there's an LED there that says bandwidth and you can see that in here this is highlighted if you push the button this is past band tuning and now this is highlighted so I'm going to go back and select bandwidth and then you use the knob to turn so let's go down to the minimum which is 200 Hertz for DSP bandwidth and you can see the radio has automatically selected the 500 Hertz uh, IF filter and if we go up to 500 Hertz and then we go past it now the next higher filter is selected which in my case is the 2.5 kilohertz uh, filter and if you keep going and then you cross that boundary and go higher than the 2500 Hertz filter uh, set the DSP bandwidth to wider than the 2500 Hertz filter now you selected again the next higher filter which is 6 kilohertz so if we go to 6 kilohertz and then we go wider we'll select the 20 kilohertz filter and up until the 12 kilohertz DSP bandwidth so that's how the automatic selection works all you have to do is turn the knob and you're generally not turning it from one end of the range to the other if you're in sideband mode you're probably tuning it between 1600 Hertz and 3000 Hertz if you're in AM you're probably tuning it between 6000 8000 Hertz etc CW you're probably anywhere from six or seven hundred Hertz down to the 200 Hertz minimum that the Omni 7 lets you set so you're really tuning within a narrow range depending on your mode but the radio doesn't limit you to that if I go to CW then uh, we we go to the last filter that was used filter setting that was used the last time I was in CW mode but again if I increase this it works the same so the 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 filter selections are not limited by mode okay so uh, but you would limit them yourself based on mode because again on CW you probably want to stick to anywhere from 700 to 200 Hertz sideband if you go back to sideband you probably wanna 
uh, anywhere from 18, 16, 1800 hertz up to 3000 hertz. So, and again, if you're on through, if you're set to a DSP bandwidth wider than 2500 hertz, then you're going to use the six kilohertz IF filter. So let's listen to that. So I believe this is a. Bravo three, Juliet, India Alpha. I believe this is a special okay, event station. UFL Bill, my call. Kilo, five. Romeo, Mike, Delta. Kilo, five. Romeo, Mike, Delta. Over. Roger, K5, RMD, Whiskey Bravo, three, Juliet, India Alpha, you're five, nine. Can I have your name for the log? QSL, the name is Larry, Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee, over. Okay, my name, Larry, Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. Okay, Larry, I got it. You're five nine. Have a good one. Thanks for being So for me, as I narrow the bandwidth, it helps to dial in some passband tuning. I'm getting older, my hearing's changing, and it's easier for me to hear higher tones than it is to hear lower tones. So I'll adjust the passband tuning to, to make it less muffled sounding to me. Um, of course that's a user preference, you may not need it. Uh, but there's the difference in the uh, the uh, DSP filtering for sideband and as I went up past 2500 Hertz you heard the uh, 6 kilohertz uh, uh, IF filter uh, gets switched in. So let's do that one more time. Okay, correction. K5 RMD 73 and QR mm -hmm. So there's the 6 kilohertz IF filter. There's the 2.5 kilohertz IF filter. And you can hear. This is K5 RMD, Kilo 5 Romeo Mike Delta, aboard USS Drum in Mobile, Alabama. So you can hear sometimes the signal off to the side, but if I reduce the bandwidth, it goes away. So the filtering works very well. I'm not talking about that muffled stuff in the background, but there was another signal that was there. But anyway, that's how the filter works. So I'll show you one more thing. If we go back to the menu, and if we select a specific IF filter, so if we select the 2.5 kilohertz filter, then nothing changes here. You see in the uh, IF uh, marker here, uh, 2.5 kilohertz. And then if you widen the filter, you can go up to 2.5 kilohertz, but if I turn the knob, it doesn't change. And that high-pitched signal off to the side will go away. There you went away. So, so if you do set the radio to use the IF filter that you choose, then the maximum DSP bandwidth will be equal to that filter bandwidth.
Mobile, Alabama. Over. So it looks like he changed again. Um, in any case, so I'm going to put this back. So even if I go down to 1600 hertz uh, filter bandwidth, he's still pretty readable, pretty understandable. So there you go. That's the. This is Kilo 5 Romeo Mike Delta. Kilo 5 Romeo Mike Delta. Aboard USS Drum, Mobile, Alabama. Over. So you can tell the fidelity gets less as I dial in more passband tuning and as I narrow the filter. Um, so now what I'm hearing to my ears is uh, the band noise, but it's kind of lower pitched. And again, for my hearing, that just bothers me. So I'll change the passband tuning just to raise the pitch of that to make it. I don't want to hear the band noise easier, but I do want to hear the hear the signal, the receive signal a little bit better. And then if I like, I can go back and widen this guy out. So there you have it. That's how the filter selection works in the Omni 7. You don't have to push a button to select the IF filter and then turn the DSP knob. You can just turn the DSP knob and then the IF filter will follow according to the DSP bandwidth settings. And I like that a lot. It gives me one control to fool with. And again, if you're in any particular mode, you're not going from the top to the bottom of the, of the whole range. You're sticking within, you know, CW filter bandwidths or sideband filter bandwidths and uh, so those are generally just a few so it's it's pretty it's really easy to use and I like it a lot so that's uh, that's it I just wanted to show uh, demonstrate the filtering on the Omni 7 and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching